Hey guys, I am here with Blair Brown and Blair is the owner of Visionary Advantages and she specializes in being a one-stop shop for branding and marketing. And we're here today to really talk about your marketing goals and your imagery and why those things need to align for maximum impact. So Blair, take it away. Well, thanks for having me today. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, marketing and imagery are so critical. I mean, Carrington, how often have people come to you and they're like, we really need all this brand this done, but like we have no images to start with. Yes, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's what you do for a living. Um, yeah. <laughs> something like that. That's why it's great to have somebody like Carrington in your back pocket, because for me, um, focusing on branding and marketing, some people, well, most of my clients will come to me with amazing inspiration points, gorgeous websites, really cool branding. But some of those branding will be all revolved around images. There really isn't that much branding outside of it. So for me, it's like, okay, well, we can we can accomplish a lot with a fantastic logo, color palettes, fonts for that consistency, everything you could think of with branding. But if you're a company that has products and you don't have that striking image, it can only go so far. Like you, you have to be able to demonstrate that. So for me, it's crazy important to have both of them together. And um, instead of just throwing it together, you really want to put your best foot forward, especially if it's a consumer that's never seen how awesome you are. So if you show them up front, you're going to save yourself a lot of headache than waiting to invest in that later in your business uh, journey. Yeah, definitely. I find that a lot of my clients, they invest everything in their branding and their marketing and their website. And then they're like, oh, well, I guess I need photos. And then they'll yeah. be like, oh, well, just DIY. And I'm like, yeah, but you just invested all of this money into your branding, but people need to buy the product. So the product photo actually does need to look just as good as all the other branding you just invested in. Mm -hmm. And that's usually something that people either they invest in the photos or they invest in the branding yeah. and to educate them on, Hey, these things do need to mesh is really vital because yeah. usually they, people see them as two separate topics. No, they definitely work together. And also it's, being a branding person, it's fun to work with photographers because then you can make it more stylized and you can come up with a strategy to make those pictures more, have the personality that your brand evokes or you want it to. Um, there's a lot of creative outlet there that you can, an opportunity that you can not only have the branding or vice versa, just have the photos without the branding, but for them to work together, you're going to have a more an easier to sell brand, I would say. Um, but how often do you recommend having photos taken? Like, let's say it's a collection or something for a brand. Yeah. So I usually talk to people. I'm like, all right, well, what is the end use of the photo and what is the lifespan of it? That part is really key to figuring out. And what are the different marketing channels? So if we're talking about putting imagery on a website, those images are going to have a much longer lifespan because you're not updating your website as often as social media. You could be do doing social media every day if you really wanted to. So mm -hmm. social has a much shorter lifespan. So mm -hmm. really thinking about where are we placing these images? What is the marketing behind it? That can really determine for a brand how often you need to be updating your photos. Mm -hmm. If you have a longer lifespan, maybe you get away with doing it quarterly or bi-yearly. If you're mm -hmm. more on social or you're pushing a lot of different marketing tools, you may be on a, wanting to do things more on like a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. And I think too, when you're the business owner and you're looking at your budget for all these things, like, do I do one or the other? Do I do both? Um, I think realizing that you can be creative and use a, you know, a round of photography so far, like in your marketing, like you can yep. use, it, like you said, on social media, your website, you can send it out in email campaigns. You can put it on flyers or printable, um, marketing materials. You can use it at your trade show. There's so many different things that you can use it at, but there's going to be a huge difference between taking an iPhone picture or having a professional photographer there to take care of it for you. Yeah. And even speaking about what you just said, trade shows, mm -hmm. when it comes to your imagery, oftentimes the imagery on your website or your social doesn't always translate to going to like a trade show or an email blast or another marketing tool. So it's always important to think about like what that end use is. 
Mm -hmm. I had a client take one of their images from their website that we created all the imagery for and use it on a trade show booth. And I was like, all right, that looks great until you put the table down. And I made everything in the bottom third for the website banner. So now you can't see, no. the you couldn't see anything on the trade show booth. And I was like, we need to create for the trade show booth. <laughs> I can see the frustration. <laughs> yep, I was like, no, we yeah. not in, this wasn't in the full scope. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true though. Um, but yeah, you, you always need photography with branding and it, no matter what stage you're at in your business, it's just such an important part. Awesome. Well, if anyone wants to learn more, how can I get in touch with you? You can find me on Instagram. You can go to, Hey, it's Blair Brown, or you can go to my website, visionaryadvantages.com. Very simple. You'll find all the, I have a lot of free resources on there too for entrepreneurs. So if you're looking for some help to boost your business, check it out and take advantage of the free stuff. Awesome. Thanks so much.